Pat McAfee accuses ESPN. By the way, you know the whole DEI thing with uh, uh, Mark Cuban and uh, uh, Elon Musk going through it yesterday. Elon Musk called Mark Cuban a racist, racist. yesterday. Yeah. Did you see that? I saw, I saw that in between all the yeah, borders. Yeah, they're going stuff. back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I proposed. I said, uh, Mark, you're not letting go of this. Mark and I had a very friendly mm. uh, uh, Twitter exchange uh, on DM each other. I would say probably 100 messages over a span of two hours, back and forth. It was a debate. It was a very uh, friendly debate, but it was a fiery one that we had. I said, listen, I said, here's a suggestion for you, Mark Cuban. Since you're so confident in your DEI argument, why don't you do an X space with Elon Musk and others? You bring three to five influencers who agree with you, including bring Tony Fauci if you want. Bring whoever you want. So you won't feel like it's one-sided. Who would like to see this? I would love, and, I, and then I posted a picture below of the Guardian <laughs> yeah. just to remind him, go a little lower. The Dallas Mavericks are consistently the <laughs> whitest White team a in a black, black league. <laughs> 15 out of 21 years. Did he respond and, to that? <clears throat> no, he, has, he hasn't responded to that. He I'm, responded to that righties. in DM, but he didn't respond to that on uh, public. And uh, he and I spoke about it. So I'd love to see a Twitter space with Mark Cuban on DEI. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, uh, yeah, I'll talk about that later. <laughs> more, more I feel things. like more BBD's things. got more something things. to say. Yeah. Pat McAfee accuses ESPN executive of sabotaging his show. Here we go, Pat. <laughs> this is what happens when you go to a company like Disney, it's a.k.a. On. ESPN. You are dealing with DEI scores that uh -oh. you got to be careful with. Uh -huh. Pat McAfee, the sports talk sensation known for his YouTube show, has accused ESPN executive Norby Williamson of purposefully undermining his show by leaking false information to the media. McAfee is specifically uh, pointed to Williamson as the one trying to sabotage the program, stating more specifically, I believe Norby Williamson is the guy who is attempting to sabotage. Do you have this clip, rap? Is attempting to sabotage our program. McAfee was known for his outspoken and sometimes controversial style, recently faced backlash with a guest, Aaron Rodgers made controversial comments related to Jimmy Kimmel and Jeffrey Epstein. McAfee later apologized for the incident. Additionally, concerns arose about McAfee's TV ratings being lower than his lead in, raising questions about the reported $85 million contract ESPN has with them. So think about the games they're playing there, Rob. If you have that clip, go ahead and play it. I don't know if this is it. We're very appreciative, and we understand that more people are watching this show than ever before. We're very thankful for the ESPN folks being very hospitable. Now, there are some people actively trying to sabotage us from within ESPN. Funny. More specifically, I believe Norby Williamson is wow. the guy who I is attempting it. to sabotage wow. <clears throat> our program. I'm not 100 sure. That is just seemingly the only human that has information, and then somehow that information gets leaked, and it's wrong, wow. and then it sets a narrative of what our show is, and then are we just going to combat that from a rat every single time? Damn. I don't know. But, like, somebody tried to get ahead of our actual ratings release with wrong numbers 12 hours beforehand. That's a sabotage attempt, and it's been happening basically this entire season from some people who didn't necessarily love the old edition of the Pat McAfee show to the ESPN family. Sure. There's a lot of those. We've get, heard them anonymously quoted in the Washington Post, mm -hmm. in the New York Post, right. in the New York Times, right. in the L.A. Times, right. in Wall Street Journal. Right. And they're never like, yeah, love the show. This is awesome. It's always yeah. like little things to try to tear us down. So even with the enemy within our own you camp, it, somebody that we don't, I don't like that guy. I, that guy left me in his office for 45 minutes, no-showed me in 2018. So this guy has had zero respect for me. And in return, same thing, back to him for a long time. So even with that taking place, and potential PR, like, there's, we're still growing somehow. Yep. Positive. So we're very I thankful. I love it, Pat McAfee. But, but 100%. My my, my question to you is, though, as a business guy, like, so you think, because I don't know, you think it's smart for him to air out, uh, one, what, is that guy a producer, the, the, the guy he's talking about? He's an executive. Is that, is that smart to do that to him oh. about Here, an Here's what I'll say to this, thing? bro. No, it's, no. Not, it's not about, it's, it's, it's a great question you're asking. Yeah, it's not smart for him to air out. But remember, 
He's the guy that doesn't want him here. So imagine mm -hmm. I want you at Vaitainment. Yes. You're here because I want you. Yep. You know I believe in you. Mm -hmm. You know I'm a fan of yours. Matter of fact, yesterday while we're doing our meeting during lunch, I showed a video of you. Oh, God. When you were the... Uh, protest uh, stripper? Pro protest stripper. I showed that clip, and I'm sitting there saying, we're cracking up, laughing. We're watching clips of you, okay? Oh, My kids watch clips of you. Not that one. But then, no, not that oh, one. But imagine, imagine if all of a sudden one guy within the organization hates you. Okay. okay. In, and, in is, and is sabotaging and bringing me stuff to say that you suck. And you had a meeting with him five years ago, and he's, he, you, for 45 minutes, you're standing there, absolute disrespect, insult, straight up doing yeah. that. Okay. So the company knows McAfee's a stud. The company knows McAfee can bring numbers in, but this guy doesn't, and he wants to sabotage your success. Yeah. You have beef with him. So for Pat McAfee, though, here's the issue. Guess what, Pat? Why are you surprised? You chose to go to a DEI organization. You chose to go to an ESG organization. You chose to go to Disney. You chose to go to ESPN. You knew you were going to get this, right? You knew this was going to happen to you. This is not going to happen at Barstool. This is not going to happen at Spotify. This is not going to happen if you're independently kicking some ass. But it is going to happen if you choose to go to an organization like that. And by the way, this will be just the beginning. It's not going to get any less, okay? Do not think for a moment they're not calling him from the top saying, well, listen, you can't ever make a comment like that about Jimmy Kimmel. And you better call and apologize. Publicly. You think Pat McAfee did that because he didn't? They didn't call him and tell him you better apologize to Jimmy Kimmel For and Jimmy sure. Kimmel coming 100%. back and you know 100%. the most viral tweet of that week right. with a hundred million views. Of course you better believe. Well, but you chose to go to it's like it's like you right now choosing to take your talent and going to SNL, not SNL. Where? No, you choosing to take your talent and go to. Uh, I'm trying to see. Uh, uh, pick one, man. You Fox choosing, News, not Fox News. You're choosing to go to MSNBC. Oh, okay. God. Me? And you're gonna, <laughs> but but then, and you're surprised mm -hmm. that people are back. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Why are you surprised? Yeah, you exactly. calling me saying you won't believe how they're treating me, Vinny? Why are you surprised? Yeah, you went to MSNBC. You went to a place that they they know. There's who only I am. one way of thinking. There can't be debate. There yeah. can't be discourse. It's only their way of thinking. Tom, look, ESPN is dying. I'll say it again. ESPN is dying. They're not in a growth mode. They're in an adjustment mode. Bob Iger was walking around at the Allen and Company conference, you know, uh, earlier, I mean, last year, where they all get together, media confab, and he was unable to have any strategic. We're looking at strategic alternatives. <laughs> Translated, will somebody please buy this bitch off me? <laughs> right? That's what it's all about. And the same thing, by the way, the same thing happened for Zaz, who was walking around, you know, saying, hey, do you want to buy a copy watch or CNN? You know, opening up his, his lapel to display it. Yeah, come on. So here's what's happening. Bureaucrats <laughs> like this guy, you know, are getting points for saving money at ESPN. So everybody's going to be trying to do it different way. Everybody's trying to cut costs. Somewhere, someone thought it was a good idea to bring him on and to bring ratings and everything. But guess what? Inside corporate America, these aren't founders. These are people with positions. And they're freaking bureaucrats and they're backstabbers and they have individual tribes based on departments. And so you've got people that want to save money for ESPN and get brownie points with Uncle Bob Iger for doing so. And so they want to cut stuff and they want to cut stuff that doesn't resonate with their political viewpoint. That's what's going on here. You're seeing this parlor game go on at ESPN. That's all it is. And, and That's what's happening. And guess what, Norby and all the rest of your your boss is trying to sell you. <laughs> well, here's the deal. What I know about Pat McAfee, if that guy's wearing sleeves on TV, something he up. means business. Yeah, yeah. Because that guy has never worn a sleeve on TV in the history of his show. All he wears is cut off T-shirts or wife feeders. Yeah. Okay, that's all he wears. So I think he's trying to step his game up. I think he gave a shout out to our buddy who was at the Soho House party um, that, for dressing him up in suits. You know that guy, but. Pat, you played in the NFL. You were a sick punter. Welcome to the big leagues, buddy. You know, it's a different level. You're, div you're dealing with a lot of different accountability, and a lot of different personalities when you go from being just an independent podcast type of place to going to ESPN, right? Who owns ESPN? That's not the Disney? big leagues, though, but that's not the big leagues. You don't think ESPN is the big league? No, it's not the big leagues. Not anymore. No, no not to. But What's but, bigger than wait, ESPN? Wait, 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 wait. I don't know what the hell you're saying. You're saying he wasn't big leagues 
and then he goes to ESPN, and ESPN is big league. Bro, they paid him $85 million because he was the number one sports show in the world. Correct. He is the big league. Okay? He chose to go to the little league that's dying. What are you talking about? The last thing he needed, FYI, here's a question uh, for you. We fully disagree on this. Here's a, go question for, here's a question yeah, for you. Who needs who? Who needs who? Oh, ESPN needs him. Okay, then. Yeah. So who's the big league? ESPN is. No, it's not. That's no, still the no, number no, one no, place no. for sports. Pat, still where Stephen A. Smith hosts his show. That is still the big no, leagues. Uh, uh, it might not so, be there long so, term. So, Who laid off but, 25 of their top but, talent but wait, last year? But, but wait a minute. You, you have to realize, like, when you think Most about— Most people in America have never heard of Pat McAfee yeah. before he came to ESPN. No, that's, that's if totally— If you're a sports fan, you did. The, no but the, shit. But most Americans never heard watch of Pat ESPN. McAfee. Yeah. No, no, Adam, who are the nobodies? How are you going to convince me that ESPN is not the big leagues? I'm all ears. No, Go ahead, no, Tom. no, 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 no. Wait a minute. Then no, no, wait a minute. This is not. You think you've made it when you're at ESPN? You think that's what it is? Is that the interpretation you have in your mind that you've made it when you're at ESPN? This guy made it way before he was at ESPN. This guy made it at Barstool. This guy made it with his show, with his podcast. ESPN didn't validate who Pat McAfee is. Zero. This is not the big leagues. This is called you chose to make take money from people that will control you. Mm-hmm. That's all that is. But okay? you know that when you go it, into the door. Uh, you know that. No, but 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 you don't need them. You don't need ESPN. You, you, so so for example, when you're at a when but, you're when you're somebody, this is not a teleprompter guy. This is not a guy that I agree. This is not a guy that is going up to ESPN because he went to the right journalist school and all this comes a freaking punter tackling people, loud mouth, entertaining, <laughs> yeah. fun party guy. A football goes player. And he p- played with a p- Peyton Manning. Exactly. He p- played with a lot of studs. And then all of a sudden, what does he do? He builds a show. He gets big. ESPN is begging for him to go there because they desperately need him. It is not the other way around. You're not, you're not on a you're not joining an organization that's coming off of back to back to back to back to back championships and you're going on the ride like, hey, I'm gonna ride Tom Brady's coattail to win a championship. Uh-uh. ESPN is not that organization. You're going to a place that's been coming off of losses after losses after losses in the recent years, and you're joining them. When when you join an organization that's dying. You're going there because they're hoping you save them. You're not going because they're hoping to save you. It's the other way around. This guy's not going there. This isn't like a guy that had a you know twenty year career running the sports and then he's going to an organization because they're going to be like, uh, well, you know, come and play the last two years. You're going to be a great locker room guy and you're going to develop these younger guys. That's what we need from you right now. Now, bro, I'm on my prime. I'm killing it. I'm number one in the world. Is who I am. That's Pat McAfee. You want me? Pay up. But the mistake he made, Pat, which I think is a big mistake he made, he made the mistake thinking whoever sold him that there's not going to be, you cannot have a Aaron Rodgers calling out a guy that forced the entire country to take the vaccine or else and the late night host taking shots at him. That's the mistake he made. Mm-hmm. He teamed up with the wrong can organization. I, well, yeah. Yeah. I want you to respond. And I, so, and th- if that's the case, which I, which I, I, yeah. I agree, somebody has to go. It ain't going to be Pat McAfee. Who's that other guy? Who's that other guy that he just called out? Galen that guy has to leave. Like, he Norby can't stay. Norby Williams. Norby Williams. He's been he can't stay at programming since 2005. That's what I'm saying, though. How does that guy no. stay on? Guys, what are you guys? Like, what, what, what did you guys smoke this? I'm saying, is he, are they going to get We were hanging out with Elon, no, Pat. This guy's, this guy's not going to he's, he's not going to be at ESPN for too long. The guy. No, no, McAfee. Oh, McAfee. Okay. McAfee's contract, whatever it is, he'll write it out. How and long is it for? Uh, be, because here's what you have to ask yourself. Okay, all right. So you ready? I'm ready. All right. You're in a marriage. Yeah. Okay? You're married to somebody. Matter of fact, let's just say you're dating a girl. Okay. You've been together with her for three years. You love her. Okay? However, she does cocaine every day. Shit. But you love her. Mm-hmm. Okay? You ask her, babe, I love you. I want to marry you. But you got to stop with this cocaine thing. She says, if you love me, love me with the cocaine. What are you going to do? One of two people have to change. Okay? Mm -hmm. Either you have to change and accept the fact that it's okay with her doing cocaine for the rest of your life or being with her because you're crazy about her. Or she's got to stop doing cocaine. Do you think she's going to stop doing cocaine? No. She just told you no. No. Okay. In this situation, you know who's the cocaine girl? ESPN. (laughs) Yeah. ESPN is not going to stop doing cocaine. (laughs) I understand the analogy and the I reference love I'm making it. to I you. Love it. So either McAfee's going to change or ESPN's going to change. Who do you think's going to change in this situation? 
I have an answer. You know what my answer is? Neither. Hmm. Neither is going to change. So what does that leave you? McAfee's going to be out. Because ESPN's culture is not going to change. What are we talking about? Sage Steele. Do you want me to go through a list of names? Where is Chris Broussard? Not there. When's the last time you saw Chris Broussard? He was one of my favorite. Where is Chris Broussard? Yeah, where the hell is he? Where is all these know. guys? Where are like a lot of these guy. guys? So how many of these guys all of a sudden disappeared? Where, why did they disappear? Mm-hmm. What do they all have in common? Just because politically they were not willing to just sit there and apologize and kiss some ass. And be BLM, be part of this, be part of Like, dude, I don't want to do that. You better take the vaccine. I don't want to do that. Kneel. Then get the hell out. Yeah. McAfee's not going to kneel. This environment, unfortunately, it's not conducive for a guy like Pat McAfee. You know why Joe Rogan was happy with Spotify? They had his back. Because they're like, we don't give a shit. Yeah, do say what you want. Yeah, yeah. Do, what, we don't do give your a thing. Shit. We don't give a shit. We well, don't give a shit. But ESPN and Disney gives give, a shit. Yeah, they give way too many shit. They give a shit. So there you so, have it. And when you see what they do, Pat, and you see what they say publicly, and you see what they leak, remember, the content, they're trying to save costs. They may regret doing it for his his point of view and for the fact that it's an $85 million albatross. How many times have we seen a professional sports like a bad deal is done and two years after the bad deal exhibit a Denver Broncos and Russell Wilson. They are trying to do anything they can to get that albatross off their books. This is the way it works. They may be looking at this and saying, look, he hasn't blown up and doubled his ratings. He's not a super duper cash cow, but he's doing really well. Let's get him out of here. And what Norby may be doing is leaking things because there may be a ratings-based performance clause that's in the contract. And if you could turn down McAfee or you could actually cripple him a little bit, you might be able to get the contract off your books. There may be escape clauses in there. Trust me, neither one of these guys are going to want to be there long-term. It's like a relationship you're in that you know it's not going to work out long-term. Well, this is what happens when you take the money. And with all due respect to Pat, awesome guy, awesome talent. You know, we talk about ESPN being the sinking ship. They're still the biggest ship on the on the ocean. That's without a doubt. Like if you think of sports, name the first uh, broadcast sinking. company. When it's when name something's the... sinking, it's sinking. Okay, but they're still the Titanic, right? We all know That's that sunk. When... Correct. And they but... died. Yes, but we all acknowledge that that was the biggest ship ever. And they died. So going... Yes. Okay, and this is why they gave them an. When 80... you're sinking, size doesn't matter. Okay, well, can I make my points? No, there? because you're gonna no. die. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what happens when you follow the money. Do you know how much money Pat McAfee made between tw- 2009 and 2012 being a fucking punter for the Indianapolis Colts? $1.8 million. Okay. 450 over four years. All right. What's he making from ESPN? $85 million. For five years. Over five years. He's making, what, 15, 17 Bro, million dollars a year. The guy made his show. The guy made his show. His show. The sickest show out there. Yes. Yeah. But then he said, okay, this sick show that I made, yeah. let me go cash it in on uh-huh. ESPN. Yeah. If these huckleberries want to pay me $85 million, yeah. you know what? Sign me up. So you must know when you go to ESPN, who's owned by ABC, who's owned by, owned by Walt Disney Corporation, you're going to have some accountability right there. And, of course, we bring up the Jimmy Kimmel situation, which we can talk about with the comedians. Where does Jimmy Kimmel do his show? ABC, you know what you're getting into when you walk in the door. I'm sorry. Now, I granted, I'll take the freaking money, the $85 million, yeah. but save me the crocodile tears about, oh, my God, I can't believe I can't say what I want to say. You know that when you sign your $85 million deal, homie. But but you, you would take the money. I don't think Pat is the guy that would take the money. He took the money, I, Pat. But, but, what do you mean? But I, I, hear, hear me out what I'm saying to you. <laughs> no, let me make my point. Yes. What I mean by Pat, Pat took the money. But Pat is sitting there regretting saying it's not worth the money. It's not worth the money for you to have to change yourself to uh, uh, to what do you call it? To all of a sudden, like, for example, conform what, to this and this. Watch what's happening with Forbes. OK, mm-hmm. a liberal company buys Forbes and starts flipping the content that fed capitalists and doers and executives to now some virtue signaling DEI bullshit. Do I buy Forbes today? No. Mm hmm. So what happens to them? They're losing customers because they're not talking to them. So if Pat McAfee goes to Disney, he has a big following that likes his style, and then now he has to change his way that garnered him all this following, and then his drop, viewership drops. He's like, oh, shit, as a competitor, what happened? Nothing happened. You just changed. And your audience doesn't like the new you because now you're the ESPN you. The audience liked the old you. And 
ESPN and Disney is not going to let McAfee just be McAfee. They're not going to do it. Can you imagine if they tell him, hey, man, moving forward, you cannot have any more Aaron Rodgers on your show. Yeah. He'll be say, fuck you. <laughs> Go for it. Go ahead and say it to ESPN. Say it to then ESPN. Resign. Exactly. Then resign. Exactly. Then, then you know what? If, if, it, if it takes you going from four fifty a year to $17 million a year, you're going to have to make some concessions. But most people are going to make those concessions. I know. I'm sorry. That, no, no. What I'm saying is, yeah. no, 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 no. I Again, we're going to find out. Yeah. Meaning, yeah. we're going to find out if he's going to make those concessions or not. We're going to see if Pat is going to be somebody that's going to be like, okay, I'll become this woke liberal person as long as they pay me. I don't think me. that he's going to go that extreme. Not whatsoever. But, and that's why he's naming names. It's yeah. not like he's calling out yeah. ESPN. What? It's not like he's calling out his executive producer. He's calling out one person, Norby Williamson. Like in Seinfeld said no, back no, in no, the no, day, no, 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 he, he named he, no, no, names. No, he didn't just say Norby. Okay, go back to the clip. Rob, go back to the clip. He said and one person no, he undermining did not. my nope, show. No, nope, no, no. Go back to the clip you played. Go back to the clip you played. He did not say one person. He named one name. Nope. He did not just mention one name. Listen to words. Okay. English is not my first language, but listen to what he says. Fast forward 30 seconds into it. Go 30. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Try it from right there. Let's see if it's right there. Of what our show is. And then are we just going to combat that from a rat every single time? I don't know. Wait. But, like, somebody tried to get ahead of our actual ratings release with wrong numbers 12 hours beforehand. That's a sabotage attempt. Keep and it's been happening basically this entire season from some people who some people. didn't necessarily love the old edition Wait. of the Pat McAfee show to the ESPN family. Sure. There's a lot of those. There's a lot of those. That's English to me. There yeah, is a lot of those. Okay, I not agree. One. No, no, it's but not. But he I only agree. said one no, no. name. No, no, he said there is a lot of those. But he said one name. It doesn't. He no, said. Yeah. He said. No, no, no. He's, we he played not, the clip. He no, said one name. Okay, he's not. You win. He's not. You win. Adam. He's you not win. talking about one person. What he's saying is there's a lot of those at ESPN. I don't doubt it, but he only said one of name. Of course he's going to not get 50 names because the other names you don't give a shit about. That's the biggest name. But he named one. No, but he said there is a lot of those. English but he didn't say their names. Wait, re, 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 <laughs> he didn't say re, their names. Rewind it five seconds for this guy say that had a 4.0 GPN name, high Rob. school. Play the clip, Mr. 4.0. You're going to hear one eight. name. And I hate arguing Play about it. this, PBD. ESPN I don't have any sure, Hang on. Be quiet. Listen. There's a lot of those. There's a lot of Play it again, Rob. Can, can we play the beginning of the goddamn clip? Can we play the beginning of the goddamn clip, please? Play, where he says one name. I think we have to hear it one play, more time. Rob, play the beginning of the clip. Go for it. Go ahead, buddy. I'll play it again. This is what they do on mainstream media. Sure. There's a lot of those. There is a lot of those. Oh, my God. It's plural. It's plural. Sorry, Pat. I got to hijack the show. Play the clip from the beginning, Rob. Stop it. He said one name, PBD. Can we move on? You think I have any? No, Tom. Shut your mouth. One thing, move on. One thing. Let's continue. ESPN had 98 million subscribers. Now it's 73 and dropping. Unbelievable. This time a year from now, the subscriber number will start with a six. This is censorship. And it's so good. It's so great. ESPN is doing so well. Disney's trying to sell it to the first person that'll buy it. Tom, stop brown nosing PBD, okay? I'm not brown nosing. He's giving you facts, buddy. That's facts. facts. Okay, I'm going to read the article. I have to because you won't play the clip because you don't want to prove me right. Play, play. No, no. Wait a minute. Prove you right. What you said? He's only talking about one person. I said he only said one name. The entire organ is it. Do you, do you realize, what's your point, though? Are you saying, like, one name versus plural? Yes. You're saying only one person doesn't like him there? I'm saying there's probably more, but why did he single not, not out there, one no, person? Not there's probably he's the more. Why do I even know this name Norby Adam, Williamson right now? You're, you're right now. A guy now, who I've never heard of. Adam, are you saying there is, he didn't say that there's more people at the organization that don't like him? I'm saying he did say Okay, others, no, no. There's so, a so reason that you, he you said one yourself. name. Okay. There's a reason he said Norby because it's Williamson. it's the biggest head executive he's calling out. Okay. But now, there's a lot of people who don't like him there. And it's not a good feeling when you go to work and you know a lot of people don't like you and what you stand for. And that's not sustainable long term. For a person who is a free-for-all guy that has proven to the market that he's the best at what he does, okay, ahead of Stephen A., they paid him more than they pay Stephen A. Straight They're up? Saying, yes. Stephen A doesn't what make they his kind Stephen of money. A? They're about to give Stephen A his contract. Stephen A still only makes six, eight million dollars per year. Okay? Well, Twelve no. million dollars per year. Yeah, they, they pay, pay more. McAfee more than they pay Stephen yeah, A. Think about paid. that. So the market is saying McAfee is better than Stephen A getting eyeballs. 
Okay? Yeah, Stephen so, A is going to get paid, though. Stephen A should get paid, but, I mean, I have a whole different opinion with that. We're not going to get into that. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.